Hello and thank you for staying with us on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's Hello. good people? What's good people? How are you people? doing? I'm great. Yeah. Happy Friday. Same to you. Are you doing good? Yeah. Are you sure? So don't you want, don't you want to share how Guys, you feel? Oh, just just I'm, share it. I'm, I'm traumatized I'm, by I'm, the I'm, news. Yeah. Very I'm traumatized. I don't... I have to confess, I don't believe in my country and I don't believe we have the measures <laughs> to, you know, really control this thing. So I'm just really freaking out. Um, people are not even aware that there's coronavirus and I mean like the grassroots people. Most of them are not even aware. They're going to squash themselves in the bus. We're going to spread it really fast and bring it to the office and uh -uh. everywhere. Uh -uh. Hey, so the, paranoid now me. that the um, Keke and Peps and Okada have been banned, there's no way you can you can't, yeah. avoid not being with a lot of people. people so. Yeah. It's very sad, very, very sad news. So invest She's been freaking out all morning. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I, I want to believe that we'll be fine. At least it's, it is one case of an Italian, right? He works in Nigeria. It's just sad. I don't know how they, they weren't checking these people from mm. the airports from the onset. But let's just move on to the entertainment story so we won't get sad. Um, there's an update on the ongoing car theft court case between Temple Management Company and Nigerian singer Iyanya. Iyanya was granted bail in, on the sum of 20 million naira on Thursday by an Igbo Sheri High Court in Lagos. Justice Mobolanle Okikiolu Ihile, um, while granting Iyanya bail, said, I have um, looked through the affidavits and the counter affidavits of the parties. There's a, okay, this is a, legal term but there is prima if you help me here prima, prima facie. Facie, case facie. of criminal conversion against him however there is nothing to show that the defendant will interfere with the proceedings of this case and nothing to show that he will jump bail if granted bail is therefore granted to the defendant in the sum of 20 million naira with one shorty in like sum she ordered that the shorty should have a landed property in lagos and possess its certificate of occupancy she also ordered that the bill should be perfected within the next seven days. Otherwise, the bill shall be revoked. Um, so the whole case was adjourned to um, May 27 for trial. 20 million there. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, wow. Um, That's the liquor. <laughs> no, no, you guys shouldn't make this sound like that. But um, I called this camp this morning. And they said it's been a free man because I know the people that are granted bail are those that have been in custody. If you've been in custody, that's the only reason why they will grant Yeah, that was confusing as well. But we've always known that he's been a free man because mm. from the last time, which was in he February, left it his lawyer. Or something, yeah, he left. So, so um, they said this is fake news and that, fake uh, news. Yes, that they were in court, but there was no bail condition and all that, oh, according wow. to his camp. Because I spoke to them this morning and they said there was nothing like a bail condition because he wasn't it was never in custody. So why would they be granting him bail? <laughs> Do you understand? So were they so, ordered to pay twenty million for any reason? That's at what all? he's saying is no. the fake bit. It's it's so a fake this news. news in so general this news is fake. Is fake. Hmm. Okay. Um I, I don't know how true or fake this is right now, but I'll just rest my case. Unless his camp is trying to hide something, but I, we all know that Yaya has been free. Like he left it as long. Yeah, I mean while I was reading the story, of course it crossed my mind. I was wondering why, why would you the be bill? granting but somebody then bail when that? you read through you realize that the prosecutor, the people, uh, that's people, uh, the lawyers from the temple mm -hmm. management company, wanted, were asked, wanted yeah, that was, so I was thinking the but judge, is, but you um, need to do a trial first before then you can grant bail, bail. like, it would be weird for them to go back into court and say they want to re, re, uh, re analyze the case and then you grant bail in regards to that because the first has to be a verdict and then saying that, okay, he's been put away and then he needs bail to be let free so it has to be a verdict before yeah, stuck like in the world. after the trial yeah that's to be a trial for that. that. because then you're only giving bail to somebody who doesn't want to keep staying in custody okay i'm not arguing if this is fake news or real news i'm saying that okay i'm not a lawyer but we've seen cases whereby a case is just starting people for example yanya himself has jumped 
um, attending the court proceedings for, mm -hmm. is it five times or six times? And this last time, it's safe for them to feel like this guy might not show up and we want to keep him no, but in custody while the work. case is ongoing. Right. So that's what I'm saying. We've seen cases. I mean, when R. Kelly was being granted bail and all that, has he been found guilty of anything? It's no, not... but he was remanded. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you you can say you must be, we must have been remanded for that's you what to we, be what, 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 what I'm trying to say is that you cannot give um, bail to, bail to somebody man. Yeah, who's free. Okay. Um, I think we'll watch the space and make more findings before we carry on on this conversation. Moving on to the next story. Tyler Perry requests second autopsy on nephew to determine if it was a mother or suicide. Tyler, however, said and quote that um, he wants to be clear that the family is not a family of conspiracy theorists and they want to believe that there was no foul play um, just as the sheriff had said publicly. So this news of the death of um, his nephew broke yesterday. We, we, we didn't get to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he released a statement same yesterday, um, giving a background of how he landed in jail. He basically shot his killed his um, father, father and, and he was sentenced to twenty years in prison. And Tyler was saying that he hoped that he would serve his time, um, do the time basically, and then come out to work for him. Now you could call him naive for thinking that way, but that was what he hoped. And unfortunately, this has happened. But based on the things that we know happen in the prison or in the correctional system that they would like to carry out another autopsy to be sure of what really happened. And from what I saw as well, there was a fight before this whole suicide thing. So I think it's safe for him to want to take carry out another autopsy and um, let's just see what the results will be. I mean, it's very common in the prison cells to have um, a lot of cases where it's covered with suicide, but it's actually murder. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm just hoping that they get the closure that they're looking for. When I see families getting involved and there isn't a very strong enough case to see, to ask for another autopsy, I just get really sad because it looks like the family is the one just trying to get that closure. So I'm hoping that they find that. And if it is in fact correct, and this is not a sentimental thing and it's actually on a, on a good um, instinct, I, I really hope that they find that in their second um, autopsy. I also like that they're using somebody more popular that has an integrity on the line um, to get a different type of you know um, perspective on on the autopsy and, and the findings in there. It's it's just really sad. I know that um, Tyler Perry has, very, has been very open about his upbringing and it's kind of his stories kind of reflect his you know his upbringing and stuff. It's been pretty intense and kind of crazy, um, and it's just sad to see a young person um, cut off like that. Was it naive to think that he could? serve his time and go back to work. I don't really think so. I mean, the, the kid was young um, and you never know, like he could have gone earlier than 20 years for good behavior or whatever, and then given it the chance to start again. But being in prison is not as bad as dying. And so this is like no hope, it's done, it's finished. And it's kind of heartbreaking. So my heart goes out to him for that. Yeah, so um, aside to that, this guy got into a fight with another inmate. Um, and was kept in solitary confinement. So, and we've seen, well, <laughs> I haven't seen, but I've seen movies where you get in a fight and then they make your mother look like suicide. So I get where um, Tyler Perry is coming from. So like you said, I just hope they get the closure they're looking for because um, this guy, I don't think he has any reason to kill himself if you ask me, mm. because um, he's already serving the sentence and he didn't, opposed the, what's it called now, the verdict against him. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter, voluntary manslaughter and all of that. So there's a man that was ready to do the time for his crime. So I don't think that's the kind of person that would want to kill himself. So I feel there's something fishy in this story as well. So let's just see, let's just watch this space. And I, like you rightly said, let's just hope they get the closure they're looking for. It's time for a quick break, but when we return, there is so much more. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself minimal eye. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Rob Kardashian's um, attempt to gain primary custody of Dream has been blocked by Black China. According to court documents obtained by The Blast, a Los Angeles judge has denied um, Rob's Espa party motion in the battle over their three year old daughter, Dream. Mm. Congratulations to Black China. Wing, 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 wing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely in support of Black China on this one. Um, I was in through my research, it, it was still from social media, so I can't really back it up completely. But they were talking about how um, the reason why, especially Khloe Kardashian, which is ironic, but especially Khloe Kardashian, the worry is that they don't like the culture that she's passing on. Mm -hmm. And that, so it's a play of racism. It's like, you know, you, twerking isn't a bad thing around your child, that's just black culture, American black culture. And you can see that there's some type of supremacy thing going on. And I'm sure they're thinking in their, in their house that these kids are going to all grow together with a certain standard. And then you have someone who has that ghetto niche um, dream. It's funny how people just don't see themselves. Like, wherever you are, it's, you feel like your life is the best or your opportunity yeah. the best. Like, who are the Kardashians to think that they yeah. have the moral standard to actually tell somebody else how to raise yeah. their own child? Especially when one of um, your family members was a sex tape superstar. Not even, not even that. The fact that they always <laughs> go for like black men. It's not like the men, best. No, what even, I mean is like they're not like the best example. It makes example. me even wonder that. Is it you not know, then true about what they always say about like sexual, that Kardashians are always sexualizing our, our men? Because you love them so much. All of you, all of you. <laughs> All of you, literally, except the person that's single. Every single person there is with a black, a black person, okay, except from Courtney. And then you, all of a sudden, you don't want the culture. So, is it, like, is it just for the, you know, down there, or is it like you really <laughs> like? It, it, it's it's, is it for the down it's there? bizarre to me. Um, and then Chloe, of all people, getting involved in somebody else's business. She's the one that always talked about how you know how it is being a single parent. I would expect her to understand that, like. You're talking about breaking up a family. And in America, anyway, the, 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 I guess. Sister I guess, in laws never understand. Even when they are drowning, mm, they don't I, I guess the default also in America is that you always give it to the mother. So even if there's, even if, they, let's say they were both as bad, you always still give it to the mother. They're always leaning more to the mother. But if, the way the, 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 um, the lady, the court, the judge dismissed the case, it would make me happy that, okay, somebody else can actually see that this is even becoming a joke. She hasn't threatened the child's safety or the child's well-being. You're not paying custody for that. I feel like it should be the other way around where Black China is actually taking Rob on, on the fact that he's and not paying custody. And they the um, child support 50-50. Yeah, so it's like you, you, have, you should be taking care of this, peop of, this, of this girl, but you can see that they've planned, and this Kardashians can be vicious like that. You see that they've planned to kind of like um, dry her out, like we're not going to support you, and just undermine the girl. But I'm, I'm glad that she's pulling the weights and she's doing everything she can for her daughter. Mm. I think um, this is just a play of power by the Kardashians. Mm. They just wanted to um, show that, okay, we're the Kardashians, we can do anything and then Black China, you know, to stand it. But I like what the court did. Um, it's, I mean, what the judge did, it just shows that there's still justice and there are people that can see, read between the lines and actually know that, look, this is what you're trying to do. Like you said, um, she hasn't proven a threat to her safety and all of that. And most of the things you're accusing her of doing is, like you said, it's the black, American black culture. Right. Like most black, um, most African Americans do these things in front of their kids. So the fact that you guys are trying to be all bougie and stuff doesn't mean you need to impact that into another person's life. It's my decision how I want to raise my child unless it's now beginning to affect the child's and, safety. And if I'm, if I'm going to add on to that, I don't feel like it's Khloe Kardashian that is more unstable to be raising her kid. I remember she made a statement saying that she doesn't see color. And I was just like, you're not, you're remotely not even prepared to be raising a, 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 a black child. And that child that she has is 
pretty dark skinned to me, if you ask me. And America is the type of culture where you're white or you're not. Like, they don't have mixed race here. We even have, like, you're half. You're... In America, if you're not fully white, you're black. That's how you're treated. So, if anybody is not even ready or, 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 yeah, or <laughs> equipped enough to actually raise the child in the way that they need it, it's her. It's ridiculous. This story is just is completely ridiculous. Okay. So let's, um, let's black just say congratulations to Black China, China, right? Yeah. And hope that um, Rob sure will, will come back. Rob will sure not bring. That's what I'm saying. Let's back. hope that he doesn't mm. bring another. I know they will. They will definitely come back with something else and just. This thing is money. I I don't know if they'll have the time, but let's see. But they have the yeah. money. They do. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. <laughs> moving and on. They have the lawyers with the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, disrespectful actors have all fizzled out of the movie industry, and this is coming from Yuli Jechi. He said when he joined Nollywood in 2005, he met a couple of actors, directors who had no respect for the elders in the business. Today, all these guys have fizzled out without achieving much, while the veterans are still waxing strong. He hopes someone learns something from this. I don't know. Maybe he needs to name names. I don't know who he's talking about has fizzled out. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but well, I guess he's, try he's trying but, to but, but the pass the, is, um, the culture is, of respect. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's but, that important. Mm. Respect is not that important. It is important, um, but it's not that important. We've seen people who no, have... Not in this part of the world. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. If you no, say so. No, in this part, respect <coughs> is very, very important in this There's part many the people world. that Maybe are just this on way. This, respect on this is possible. important, but not as deep as he's making it look. Yeah. Because uh, this is why I'm saying he should name names. Who, who are the people he's talking about that did not respect him? Because people in I the feel industry? like they would have did fizzled out the if industry? they were even res if they were respectful. Are you fizzling out because you are not dis because you are disrespectful? You are fizzling out because you're just not important. A lot of people that um have um fizzled out or gone down in their career because of their bad attitude. But we see the loss that were respectful, professional and all. And, and they still, still fizzled, fizzled out. out. Yeah, but we're talking about... Are you about telling me that everybody if, that's if we doing have well to do now... The stat statistics. Yeah, you said everybody that's doing, doing well, well now is, is respectful. respectful. This is some, like, overly yeah, sentimental... No Whiskey doesn't have well. manners for what? anyone. What? Whiskey... Whiskey. Whiskey does a lot. Whiskey knows how to keep his business, like keep to his himself. But in terms of interaction, I don't see him doubling for people and saying yes. Whiskey. That. Yes. Is it, no, do, do, the, were no, we not on this table? Were we not on this table when we were talking about? Whiskey double it. Were we not on this table when we were talking about? Whiskey double it to everybody. Like. Whiskey double it to everyone and like, everyone. If whiskey wants to greet you now, it's like this. Two baba is like this. Do you understand? Like the the And then let's 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 just bring me to the. David O's story where he slapped um, a photo journalist. That's like a, a full story on his own. If on you cannot chest. bring it in. No, no, I want to bring it in because um, <laughs> when the um, boy's mother spoke, she was like, you need to learn respect for from people who? like Whiskey. She used Whiskey. She knows nothing uh, about Whiskey. What does she, she just know? just calling names. See, the, the, the whole, whole video is crap. Was, no, she so ranted a lot. So you so. can't even use that. Does she know Whiskey's pers personally? I don't no, think I'm telling you that people that know Whiskey will tell you how humble he is. Can we not make Wait, this I'm telling you fair for a fact. If you are, if you are, if you are good at what you do, and you've made yourself um, undisposable, you, you don't need respect. It'll be hard for you to work with. I know people in the industry, actresses now. Let me even mm. tailor it down. She is completely difficult. I'm not going to name names. From the camera guy to the makeup artist, everybody doesn't want to work with her. But she's still in blockbuster movies. She's still undisposable. Nobody can act. <clears throat> nobody can act like her or perform what she's performing. And they just close their eyes and squeeze their face, name but me, still work please, with her. Please. So I'm telling you for a fact. Please, if you make, time. if Ooh. you make yourself undisposable, you're a good at what you do. I'm not there to make friends. I don't, I for one, I'm even iffy about this topic because I remember, I remember coming back into the country and I was just thinking, are you going to eat this thing for breakfast? Like I must greet you five times and I must and then answer you, you and I must... And people, they feel like, well, you didn't greet me. Like, yeah, or you say... And sometimes you need to It's also just not necessary. That like, what, he, he, what he sees respect as. Thank you. So his respect could be that because the veteran wants to sit on this chair and you must and get up must and... get up or mm -hmm. because the veteran said this is right and everybody knows it's wrong. Yeah. But if you, you get up and tell the person this is wrong, it. This is, and then this will also out. So Sorry, depends. I'm making references to different story. The Wally Shinka story mm -hmm. and the guy that 
wanted to see it and told Wally Shinka to move. You can be polite, you can and be decent, but you don't have to be... And did you see how Wally Shinka handled it? Because that's somebody that understands that, look, it's not about all of that. Like, he came out to tell you that, look, it doesn't really matter. The man wanted the city. <laughs> you understand? Like Respect in this part of the world is out. very... It's, it's, it's too tied to submission. It's too tied to being mute. It's too tied to Strange being, like, slavey. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, I'm coming from a man like that. I'm not sure I would even fit his category of respect uh, ever. And I don't even... I'm not even planning on doing that. So for him to align people's successes to one to aspect of respect is a bit much. And especially with this generation, like we really don't give <laughs> <laughs> who to you are. We we do what we gotta do. Okay, yeah. I don't necessarily agree, but it's okay. Moving on to the next Oh story. yeah? You don't? You know I don't. The biggest scam ever invented by parents was an ease making their children send them send them money in their old age. I repeat, you don't owe your parents anything. They were here before you and um, should have prepared for old age. Parents are always taking and taking. Stop the pressure. I did not say it. Up. It's coming from Noble Igwe. Noble, shut up. And I'm saying that with no respect. You may be older than me, but <laughs> I'm saying that with absolutely no respect because even the Bible says. Why do you think like, Noble is older than you? Mm. Yeah, Noble yeah, is a I young know. guy. Yeah, he's, old, he's a young guy, but he's older than me. He's, really? He's in his late 30s. I mean, like, oh, well, since 30s. when? Noble is like 35, 36, 37. I'm not up to that. Noble, okay, okay. I'm not, Noble is what? I'll, well, I'll have to find that out, but I don't think Noble is in his list that is anyway. But okay, regardless, even if you're not older than me, verse, just shut up because even the Bible says, honor thy father and your mother. Uh, no, honor doesn't mean spending money. No, no. way. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, when you say you don't owe your parents nothing, these are people that have invested in you. You are who you are today because of your upbringing. Unless you're saying that you don't owe any parent that didn't help you. I hold my okay, parents so a lot. Okay, so I'm hearing Noble is 41 years old. Exactly. Wow. So, yeah, so he's older wow, than me. Wow, wowsy. Wow. No, okay. no, no, that's it, wowsy. Yeah, wow. So, okay, um, I'm, I'm sincerely shocked. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if you're saying that your parents didn't do nothing for you, mm. then maybe you don't owe them anything. But not people okay. like me uh, that... Uh, I, I, I think um, this conversation is sensitive. Actually, it is. For this part of the world, yeah. it's no, not. It is not. Up. Let me be done. We have heard you shut up. <laughs> so it is sensitive for this part of the world because we have a culture, yeah. right? Um, if there is some sense in what he said, and at the same time, maybe the way he put it, yeah. it came across as you yeah. just being insensitive and not knowing yeah. what you're saying. Mm. I yeah. mean, um, I was even having this conversation, which is why I was almost laughing while I was reading it. I was having a conversation with a friend, and it, he, we hung out somewhere, and we actually saw Noble himself hanging out with some girls and, you know, chilling. And he, my friend was like, so, but those girls that you're spending money on, did they, do you owe them mm. anything? So sometimes we, it's just a sense of duty. And the part where he said that they've been here a long time god rest my mom but she was someone who would always tell you that your education and everything you're doing now don't think you i'm doing it or pushing because you because me, i yeah. want you to come and help me before you even think of taking care of me you must have eaten and be comfort comfortable mm. before you come back to help me and yeah. trust me i'm not going to this is what she says i'm not going to sit back to wait, wait for, for you to help me because i have business yeah, my right says, my dad but says well that. she's not here anymore right but that was the kind of mindset she said she had and she wasn't going to hold on for you but but um, there are actually families that it make it a point yeah. of duty. Yeah. It's not just the parents who, if you are unfortunate enough, let me put it that way, to be the first child mm. and you have siblings, your life is to take mm. care of all that siblings. Mm. Except you're lucky enough, one of them becomes big and, you know, somebody helps you out. There are people that are on that serious pressure to take care of the family and... It's, uh, not it's not necessary. I like the, the choice of words you're using, like sense of duty. Because if mm. you look at, 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 at Igwe's post, I think he said everything correct. It is a fact that you don't, you're not, it's not your responsibility. When you're bringing a child into this world, you cannot make them your pension plan. Mm -hmm. That's not part That's of That's why there's a pension plan. Yes. That, it's not part of parenting. 
but did he execute that message in a bit of a lashful way yeah. yes mm -hmm. and is it dutiful is it supposed to be something that Pressure. a normal good child raised with that with sense should should do yes, yes. but the person it, he isn't wrong and he doesn't need to shut up yeah but in this part of the world we are more dependent we have a dependent culture because we're not that sufficient in mm -hmm. terms of finances so we all lean on each other and there's nothing wrong with helping your family we need, we need, to, we need to actually oh. go unfortunately I wish I thank you this. for watching i'll say this in the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> you can catch up on this conversation by visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch it time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oli Walsh and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.